picture this we are living in a world where technology isn't just advancing it's exploding every industry you can think of from healthcare to finance to entertainment is being transformed by tech and as these industries evolve the demand for specialized tech professionals is skyrocketing but here's the exciting and maybe a bit overwhelming part with so many roles popping up each one focused on different aspects of technology how do you find the role that fits you best hey guys welcome back to simply learns youtube channel today we are here to help you navigate this booming tech landscape by breaking down the top 10 highest paying tech jobs in 2025 we will go through each role what you'll actually be doing the skills you will need and how you can get started and yes we'll also be covering the average salary for each role so you know the earning potential but remember salaries can vary widely depending on factors like experience location and even the specific industry you work in for example a software engineer in silicon valley might earn a lot more than one in a smaller city fresh graduates typically start on the lower end while those with years of experience and unique skills can earn significantly more so whether you are just starting your career or looking to take it to the next level will give you a realistic picture of what to expect and by the end of this video you will have a solid understanding of the roles that are out there and which one could be the perfect match for your skills and goals so let's get started so first up is the well known software engineer role software engineers are the architects behind all kinds of software whether it's apps systems or digital platforms as a software engineer you'll be writing testing and maintaining code working with various technologies and solving problems to create solutions that meet users needs typically this role requires a bachelor's degree in computer science or related field you will need strong programming skills especially in languages like python java or c++ along with a solid understanding of data structures and algorithms internships or personal projects can be great ways to get started and build experience now as for the salary freshers in india typically make around 4 to 6 lp but experienced software engineers can make 15 to 20 lp and in the us entry level salaries range from 70 to 90000 dollars and experienced professionals can earn up to 120 to 150000 dollars so with software engineering you will find that possibilities are endless which brings us to our next role one that's at the intersection of tech and business so next up is the it product manager if you're someone who loves blending tech and business this role might be perfect for you so it product managers are the strategists behind a product success they oversee the entire product life cycle from idea to launch making sure that everything aligns with user needs and business goals a typical background for this role includes degree in business administration IT or computer science so product managers need strong communication project management and analytical skills to manage teams and align everyone toward a common vision so to get started experience in tech and business roles such as internships can be a great stepping stone now in terms of pay entry level product managers in india generally earn between 7 to 10 lp while seasoned product managers can make around 20 to 30 lp and in the us freshers earn about 80 to 100000 dollars with experienced product managers making 130 to 160000 dollars so if this role interests you you can check out simply learn's professional certification in product management in collaboration with sp gen school of global management where you will get live sessions led by industry experts and sp gen top faculties now while product managers keep teams aligned our next role ensures that these teams work effectively together So next up is the role of a DevOps engineer. So DevOps engineer are the people who streamline development and operations. So they work closely with the development teams to automate processes, integrate tools and manage deployment pipelines. Essentially, they make sure that the software reaches the end user smoothly and efficiently. So for this role, a computer science degree is often preferred. But many professionals gain entry through certifications and hands-on experience with tools like Docker, Kubernetes, and scripting languages. So DevOps is an exciting field because it offers a blend of software development and IT operations, making it ideal for those who love solving complex problems. As for salaries, freshers in India can expect around 6 to 8 LPA, and experienced DevOps engineers can make 15 to 25 LPA. 
and in the US, entry-level roles pay around $80,000 with seasoned professionals earning over $140,000. So you can check out Simply Learn's Microsoft Azure DevOps Engineer Expert AZ400 certification where you can master the concepts of both DevOps and Azure. And while DevOps is all about smooth processes, our next role focuses on building both the visible and behind-the-scenes parts of an app. So now let's talk about full-stack developers. If you enjoy working on both the front end, like what users see, and the back end, like the behind the scenes code, then this is the role for you. Full-stack developers create end-to-end -end applications and are highly valued for their versatility. While a computer science degree is helpful, many full-stack developers also come from coding boot camps or are self-taught. So you will need skills in front-end technologies like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, along with back-end knowledge in frameworks like Node.js or Python. The best way to break into full-stack development is by building the projects that showcase your range of skills. Now, in terms of salary, freshers in India can make 4 to 8 LPA and experienced developers can earn 15 to 20 LPA. And in the US, Entry-level salaries are around $60,000 to $80,000 with seasoned full-stack developers earning between $100,000 to $130,000. So if you're interested in a career in full-stack development, check out Simply Learn's full-stack Java Developer Master's program, which is designed to introduce you to front-end, middleware, and back-end Java web development technologies. Now moving from full-stack to something more specialized, our next role is in the realm of connected devices. Enter the IoT Solutions Architect, a role that designs and manages ecosystems for the Internet of Things. As an IoT Solutions Architect, you will create complex systems that connect devices, making them smart and able to communicate with each other. So this role is both challenging and rewarding, as it combines both hardware and software skills. So typically, an IoT Solutions Architect has a background in computer science, electronics, or electrical engineering. So knowledge of IoT protocols, networking, embedded systems, and cloud servers is essential. So most professionals in this role start with the IoT development and gradually build their skills to move into architectural roles. So when it comes to salary, freshers in India start with 8 to 12 LPA and experienced professionals can earn 20 to 30 LPA. And in the US, entry-level roles offer 90 to $100,000 with senior IoT architects earning over $150,000. So while IoT deals with the data at the device level, our next role dives deeper into the world of data itself. So data scientists are the detectives of tech world. They analyze vast amounts of data to find patterns, trends, and insights that help companies make data-driven decisions. So this role is highly analytical and often requires a degree in data science, computer science, or statistics. So you will need skills in Python, R, SQL, and an understanding of machine learning to excel as a data scientist. So building a strong project portfolio is also key to landing this job. So freshers in India can expect around 68 LPA with experienced data scientists earning 15 to 25 LPA. And in the US, entry-level salaries range from 70 to $90,000 and experienced roles can reach up to $120,000 to $150,000. So to get into this promising role, check out Simply Learn's professional certificate course in data science in collaboration with E and ICT Academy and IIT Kanpur. Now, speaking of data, our next role uses similar skills but with a focus on artificial intelligence. So next comes AI and ML engineers. Now, they are responsible for developing algorithms and models that power artificial intelligence applications. So this role often involves training neural networks, building recommendation engines, and creating predictive models. So a degree in computer science, mathematics, or the related field is typically required. You'll need to be proficient in Python and familiar with machine learning frameworks like TensorFlow and PyTorch. So most AI and ML engineers start by building their own machine learning projects or securing internships in AI. So in India, freshers earn between 8 to 12 LPA, while experienced AI ML engineers can make 20 to 30 LPA. And in the US, entry-level salaries range from $90 to $110,000, with experienced roles reaching $150 to $170,000. So to get into this booming technology, don't forget to check out Simply Learn's postgraduate program in AI and machine learning in collaboration with Purdue University. Learn in-demand skills such as machine learning, deep learning, NLP, computer vision, reinforcement learning, Gen AI, prompt engineering, and many more. So now let's shift gears to a role at the cutting edge of technology. 
which is blockchain development. So as a blockchain developer, you'll be working on decentralized applications and smart contracts, especially within finance and security. So blockchain developers often have backgrounds in computer science or engineering and need skills in blockchain technologies like Ethereum, Solidity and cryptography. So starting in this field involves building projects on blockchain platforms and participating in blockchain communities. So in India, freshers earn around 8 to 10 LP and experienced developers can make 20 to 30 LP. And in the US, the entry level salaries are about eighty to hundred thousand dollars, with seasoned professionals earning around one sixty thousand dollars. So, if this role interests you, don't forget to check out Simply Learn's professional certificate program in blockchain in collaboration with IIT Kanpur. From secure transactions in blockchain, we move to securing entire systems in our next role. So, next comes the cyber security architect. So, cyber security architects design secure systems to protect against cyber threats handling everything from firewalls to network security compliance. So this role requires a background in cybersecurity, IT or computer science with skills in threat analysis, network security and firewalls. Certifications like CISSP are highly valued in this field. So an entry level salaries in India start at 10 to 15 LPA with experienced professionals making up to 35 LPA. And in the US, freshers earn around $90,000 to $100,000 with experienced cybersecurity architects making $180,000. So to become a cybersecurity expert, check out Simply Learn's Executive Certification Program in Cybersecurity in collaboration with IIT Kanpur. And finally, we reach a role that's essential for any organization looking to scale its tech infrastructure, which is Cloud Architect. So as a Cloud Architect, you will design and oversee cloud infrastructure to ensure scalability and security. So cloud architects usually have computer science or IT background and certifications in cloud platforms like AWS, Azure or Google Cloud. So this role involves a deep understanding of cloud technologies and networking. Many professionals start with cloud certifications and build hands-on experience. So in India, freshers earn around 10 to 15 LPA, where experienced cloud architects earn around 40 LPA. Now in the US, the entry level salaries are around $90,000 with experienced roles paying $150 to $200,000. So to become a certified cloud architect, check out Simply Learn's Cloud Architect Master's program accredited by Microsoft, AWS and Azure, where you will master AWS, Azure and Google Cloud with a Cloud Architect course. And that wraps up our look at the top 10 highest paying tech jobs. I hope this helped you get a clearer picture of the exciting roles out there and maybe even spark some ideas for your own career path. So remember, the best role for you is one that aligns with your passions and strengths. So if you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment on which role you are aiming for. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.